Well, new at six, May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and TMJ4 is sharing the stories and experiences of those in our region. Tonight, Ryan Jenkins is visiting a local Asian grocery store to learn how inflation is impacting both the owners and their customers. From live seafood to certain unique items like these, there are certain things that you can only find at the local Asian grocery store. But just like with most things right now, inflation is creating some pretty serious challenges. This is a very special store. Regulars are quick to tell you how special Meihua Market is. It's an Asian grocery store in West Dallas that's been serving our community since 2009. Chinese cooking materials and the food materials, and then not all the stores carry them, and you can only find them here. So we have many kind and different flavor the the Lulu. They cannot find in the supermarket. May Mo owns the store with her husband. They immigrated here after moving from China to Central America, and she tells me her customers come in with traditional recipes, looking for ingredients you'll likely have a tough time finding at traditional American supermarkets. Over the past few years, she tells me she's noticing her customers are forced to pay more at checkout. Things is much more expensive like this couple years. Uh, before I saw the customer, they push a shopping cart, only maybe paying like less than hundred dollar. But why now? They uh, if the shopping cart come here, maybe have to be like along hundred fifty or like that. And it's not just goods that are more expensive. The price for delivery has nearly doubled. We have to pay by pallet. Like before, we only pay ninety dollar from New York to here. For a pallet, but why now we have to pay two hundred twenty-five dollar per pallet from west side like the curly fully we was pay only two hundred seventy for a pallet, but why now we have to pay four hundred fifty. Brandon Scholes is the president of the Wisconsin Grocers Association. They do offer more things than you will find in a traditional grocery store. And I think that's that's part of the strength of the of these small niche stores. He says small markets like this one are important staples to our community, and the best way to show support is by shopping there. For a smaller store, certainly increased customer traffic, more sales are going to be important to help them meet their weekly obligations because like everybody else, they got bills to pay. Something to keep in mind, as May says she won't give up on keeping her market alive. Uh, even the, the food and the pies went up, but we still keep working hard to make the pies, keep the pies lower, and we still will provide a good service to the community. Reporting in West Dallas, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.